Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft update video. Today's snapshot is 18W06A and this snapshot has something kind of huge in it. In fact it's behind me right now. The world generation has now moved over to a new system. A system that we should be able to manipulate and control with .json files in the future which means Possibly data packs and things like that could change how the world generates and what's in the world itself. But I believe for this snapshot, the only thing that's really added is uh, the new system itself, as I'm unable to figure out how we can possibly manipulate it. So in the coming snapshots, you should hear, should hear <laughs> some exciting news about that. But in this snapshot, there are bugs. Uh, down on the ground, there are these logs, like so. These are actually upside down trees. If you catch these on particular parts of terrain, like where there's an edge, uh, this is actually a tree trying to grow upside down, which is kind of crazy. So there are bugs that you can expect in this snapshot. And uh, this next feature we're going to talk about has a lot of bugs too. So furnaces now have a recipe book. If I throw this thing down and open it up now, you can see it's suggesting some of the things that we can smelt. So, you know, it's looked at what's in my inventory and it's told us what it's going to become if we were to do this. So I click on that, it's going to put one in. If I shift click it, it's going to put in uh, a whole stack. Now, unfortunately, there's a bit of a bug. Uh, you can't use charcoal as fuel in this snapshot, but you can use regular coal. Um, because these are now in the recipe book, it does mean that you can actually customize the various different recipes uh, in the game, which we're going to look at in just a second. You can also customize the amount of XP and the speed at which it cooks at, which I think is extremely cool. If we go into here, though, there's another little thing I want to mention and search up iron. Um, we should see in the top right... You see the iron ingot there, there's also a little furnace next to it. That's because we have unlocked a smelting recipe. If we are to take regular iron into our inventory, we'll unlock some normal recipes. And then when we look in the top right, you'll see that it's got a crafting bench up there. So now there's a little adjustment to the toast. It will tell you if it's crafting or if it's for smelting. So now we're in a world where the vanilla game itself has actually been disabled. You can see I've got things in my inventory, but I, I can't craft them like I can't do that. But uh, I've actually added a custom recipe. Check this out. Uh, we can smelt redstone into redstone blocks. And yes, that is going really fast because you can change the speed at which this stuff smelts, which is kind of cool. Uh, another one that I added was clay. Did I leave that one on fast? No, I didn't. You can get this thing to go super duper fast and just smelt through this stuff really quickly. It is awesome, but that's all done with .json files. You can now customize the way that smelting works, which is fantastic, just like the crafting system. So I figured I might as well show you what the JSON file looks like. Here it is over here. It's called custom.json. So you can give it a name. If you put it inside the right folder, then it will be able to uh, you know, pick it up and add it regardless of what its name is. So this one will take redstone and smelt it into a redstone block. You can go as fast on the cooking time as one. You can't use 0 0.1 or anything like that. And you can see here that I had given it a thousand uh, experience points and we experimented with this on a live stream that I did. Doesn't seem to be much difference between 100 and 1000 so we think that the experience might be bugged out at the moment but you can customize the amount of experience you get as well. And so if you want to find those they're inside the Minecraft jar in the data folder in Minecraft and uh, you can go into recipes and I believe they are just in and amongst here. So if we go down to terracotta, drag it over to there, you can see that that one is a smelting one. For example, a tipped arrow is uh, a crafting type. Now, as well as this, something else has been added into the game or finished, I think, because there are a few of these already. Um, but there are groups of tags inside this folder. So if we go into here and we go into items, you can see... You know, if we open up wooden doors, for example, this is a tag list where you can use wooden doors to target all of these different types of items. They're in there by default. And also, if we grab doors and put that over here, you'll see that it groups together the list called wooden doors and the item iron door as well. So you could target those. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Just you know, extremely useful for data pack customization, stuff like that. They've also migrated more of the structures in the game into this folder right here. So uh, Mansion, I think, is new. End City is new. You can see all the different parts of the End City. And inside this file called .mbt is basically like a part of the structure. It says where the blocks are. And this is part of the new game engine. It's going to use these files to put those structures into the world. And at some point, we should be able to customize uh, what structures we put inside of these folders and then put them into the world generation as well. But that's not here in this snapshot. 
So coming back to this weld, I've got a couple more things to show you. Something I should have mentioned over here is that the fuel is still hard-coded, so we can't yet uh, determine what types of things can be used as fuel. There's also no references to fuel over here as well, and uh, there is charcoal there, but that's because we can make it out of the oak logs, and as I said earlier, you can't use charcoal to smelt at the moment. Things are quite buggy in this snapshot, and I think adding this smelting stuff has conflicted with crafting because... If I put cobblestone into there, I can craft it into stone. What I can't do is make a furnace, and I believe this is things just getting uh, completely bugged out because they've added something in. So if I actually do that, yeah, look, doesn't even change it if I use the book. Um, as well as that, those structures that I showed you a second ago, I believe where they've done that, they've decided to add a few more things to the locate command as well. So now we can locate specific structures like Desert Pyramid, I believe is new, uh, the Jungle Pyramid, the Igloo, these things weren't on the list before. And I think it's great that they've done that, especially if you want to jump into a world, uh, mess around with maybe a swamp part and build a witch farm. So it's really good that we get to see these things here. So there are two new types of block in this game. Um, they're really uninteresting though because they are air blocks, right? So if we use the set block command and we go to the coordinates that we're looking at, let's type in cave, you'll see there is now cave air and also void air as well, but they seem to be exactly the same thing and nothing special here. I believe this is to do with world generation, um, just some useful blocks. So we've got a, a block of stone right there. If we use the cave air, it just, you know, turns it into air that you can fly through. So let's put that back. And this one over here is the void air. And again, you know, just sets it to air. So I don't really know if there's anything else to know other than that being air, but it's most likely just related to how it generates worlds. Now, there was going to be a command added in the snapshots called modify item. As you can see, it's no longer uh, a command down here. They decided just to go back to using the old system. So if we go into enchant, this has now been re-added to the game. You can see uh, the selectors are there like normal, and then you see all of the enchantments, and this is the exact same as it was previously. Nothing changed to it. So they've just decided, rather than using modify item, you know what? We're going to go back to using the enchant command. Would you look at that? I've gone and made a double tree, and that's because trees are growing upside down. Which is a bug, so we're probably going to see this for this snapshot alone. Uh, you can use it to break bedrock. What am I doing here? So let's go grow a tree, and then just quickly place uh, a block up and to the side, and then grow that. It will grow downwards eventually. It might take a while. We might be here for a moment. I'm saying stuff to keep the video going. There we go. <laughs> and it broke the bedrock. Cool little trick, but of course, uh, that'll probably be fixed by the time the next snapshot rolls around. The nether portal over there reminded me of a couple of things. Uh, so in 1.12.2, you couldn't do this. You couldn't light a portal by clicking on the side of the block. That was, that was in the game in 1.11, but in 1.12, it bugged out. You're able to do that again. Good thing to know, I guess. Another thing that I think has been in the game since this feature was added, um, you can use a flint and steel and a dispenser just in case you weren't aware. Let's power that, and it creates fire. If we open this thing up, it has lost some durability. But uh, if you were to do this, and of course it can't do anything, it would actually still take away from the durability of the item. As you can see, it's on 63. So that's, uh, that's an interesting little bug fix right there, something that's needed, because of course it's not actually lighting anything. It's like you doing this. You know, right-clicking and losing durability. So, little bug fix there. I've got one more bug fix to tell you about. I'm going to throw an image on your screen. You can see there are a list of names on the tab screen here. This was sorted using ASCII, which means capital letters appear above lowercase ones. So, it's supposed to be in alphabetical order, uh, but it separates it by upper and lowercase. This is going to be swapped now. So, when you see names on the tab screen, they should be in alphabetical order, regardless of whether it's upper or lowercase. So peeps, last of all in this video, I want to say if you enjoyed it, leave a like, thank you in advance for the support as always, and if you didn't see the video I put out earlier this week, uh, I can show you a way to be in two Minecraft worlds at the same time, which is crazy. Click on that thing on your screen and go check it out, and of course subscribe to the channel because we're going to do some crazy stuff with this world generation real soon, cannot wait for them to add it uh, to the snapshots, which hopefully we'll see next week, but that is it from me this one, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon, bye bye.